our auto lease is over, we'll go ahead and add the salt. I'm adding nine grams of salt. And I'll add the purple potatoes. Let's see how much we have here. The formula calls for 200 grams. And it looks like I have a little bit over that, so I'm just going to add it. And then if my dough isn't wet enough, I'll just add some water. Okay, I've got 226 grams of purple potato in the dough now. I'll go ahead and start folding them together. Get my hands into this. Playing with clay dough again. It's going to take a little while to incorporate this potato into the dough. The gluten's already bonded, so we've got to work the, the potato into it too. As well as the salt. The salt's getting worked into. Well, the gluten is stiff, stiffened up quite a bit. It's hard to do anything with it. So I'll let it rest and I'll come back and I'll spend some more time folding the purple potato and salt into the dough. So I'll be back in about half an hour. Okay, let's fold this dough. be back again to fold it again. Okay, I get my hands wet each time. Let's go ahead and fold this dough again. It's starting to be really nice and bubbly. It's been about five hours since I first mixed it. I've folded it several times approximately once each hour. I think I'll let it rest and then I will shape it and put it in the banneton. I still don't see the, there's still streaks of potato in there, but you know, I think I'm just gonna leave it. I think we're gonna, we're going to leave it and have streaks of potato in our bread. Might look fun. I already folded it so I can't check the window pane, but I'll come back in about half an hour and we'll check the window pane and we'll shape it up and we'll put it in the banneton to refrigerate overnight. 